Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make all of the glitch armor pieces, which are one of the advancements that are found in your advancements book, the Glitch 404. Um, it's one of the advancements you want to put together, and the glitch armor is a really good armor set to have. It does give you creative flight and immunity to fall damage. Um, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Now, uh, first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to need to get a hold of some glitch hearts. Um, to get those, you're actually going to do that by doing the trial, using the trial keys. If you're unfamiliar with that step, I've already done a, done a tutorial showing how to use that. And I will link that down in the description. Once you've completed the trial key and you've gathered up some corrupted glitch hearts, which are dropped from defeating the glitches in the different trials, we need to go ahead and we need to turn that into some other stuff. So let's go ahead real quick and let's just look up glitch in the JEI. So we want to make these four pieces. There's the glitch infused helmet, infused chest plate, leggings, and greaves. We need to do that for the advancement. And then there's also the glitch infused sword, which is a pretty handy weapon, especially if you're looking to level up your different um, deep mob learning steps. So the actual d recipe for them is just the standard as everything else. There's a helmet, chest, legs, and so on. But for that, we need glitch infused ingots. And that takes a couple of steps. So first thing we do is we're going to take these glitch infused hearts and defeating the glitch in the different trials will give you some of those we're going to put down an obsidian now because i'm doing this in creative when i left click the obsidian it's going to break but if you're doing this in the regular world it will not and what's going to happen is left clicking with your glitch infused heart as you can see down in my inventory i now have an unstable glitch fragment it gave me three of those for breaking one of my hearts against obsidian now, normally your obsidian wouldn't break. You could just sit there and keep smacking these against it. But because I'm in creative, I'm just having to drop down a new one each time. But normally you won't have to do that. But if you start smacking those against an obsidian, again, left clicking with your corrupted glitch hearts, that's going to give you unstable glitch fragments. Now, the unstable glitch fragments, we're going to turn into the glitch infused ingots. And those are the base requirements needed to make all of the different armor pieces. So let's see how to do that. There are three things you're going to need. You're going to need some of those unstable glitch fragments we were just making. You're going to need some gold ingots, and you're going to need some lapis. You're also going to need a water source. As you can see, I've created a little pool right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to just toss in, by pressing Q, one glitch, one gold, and one lapis. Those three items will then merge together. Hop in. As you can see, now we have a glitch infused ingot and you can continue to repeat that process as much as you need but water is the catalyst that puts all of those three things together to give you your glitch infused ingot now once you have a bunch of the glitch infused ingots you can then go in and craft your different armor pieces so again the helmet chest plate leggings and greaves and as you can see by the description there 18% chance to drop two pristine matter when a data model gains data. So if you're out there farming monsters to increase the level of your data model, that's a great bonus to have. Also gives you flight and immunity against fall damage. And it's a pretty tough set of armor as well. So it's great to have and can last you most of the way through the game. Now the glitch infused sword, that recipe is two glitch infused ingots, one stick and two iron nuggets. And that, with the, that sword, the data gained from the demise of a mob is doubled. So when data is gained, there is also a small chance that the sword will get a permanent damage increase. So if you're using this, you're running around and you're smacking mobs trying to get your data um, models leveled up, this is going to give you twice that data. It's also going to give you a chance that the sword will continue to get stronger each time that you do that. So the strongest elf just gains damage over and over again. So that's a great weapon to have, especially if you're at the point where you are looking to uh, go in there and farm a lot of your deep mob learning skills. Plus, these weapons and armors can be enchanted. And that's another perk as well. You can add special enchantments, as you can see on the sword. Enchantment costs four. You can put a lot of the different enchantments on the different weapons and armors. So it's a great way of making them even stronger. 
But that's going to be pretty much it for that process. It is something that's been asked of me quite a bit. Uh, so I wanted to put something together for you. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can. As well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, always looking for new ideas. But that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.